Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Nine Malls As Seen on TV and Gadget Review Channel. Okay, maybe I'll have better luck with this one. If you saw my last review, it was a disaster. But this is the As Seen on TV 2-in-1 Spatula and Tongs. These are called the uh, Clever Tongs. Flips like a spatula, grips like tongs, heat resistant, grip it and flip it or scoop it and serve it. So my goal this month is 20,000 stars. I'm 29% of the way there, so I really appreciate those that gave stars. And let's ask my smart speaker how much this thing costs. Alexa, how much are the Clever Tongs? Recently on Amazon, the price for Clever Tongs ranged from $5 US dollars up to $33 US dollars. A top result is Clever Tongs Kitchen Spatula and Tongs Non-Stick, Heat Resistant, 4-Pack. It's $19.99. All right, so that's the price range. You heard it there. Flips like a splash yellow, grips like tongs. It's one of those as seen on TV products, so it looks kind of fun. You have your little pancakes. Today I'm going to make some potato pancakes and see if this thing actually works. Flips like a spatula, grips like a, uh, or grips like tongs. Perfect for filling sandwiches, scooping up vegetables, flipping delicate fish, nonstick heat resistant, resistant top rack dishwasher safe and more all right so let's open it up see what's inside here and see most importantly does it actually work is this just a gadget or is there actually a use for this all right so check this out this is what they look like there's a small one and a big one and it's the product you never knew you needed but check this out. See, it just grips like so, like it's a tong. You know, they're metal. It's got some rubberized uh, silicon grips here. And then it's like a spatula as well. So I would say big tests are, um, you know, like I think people would maybe use these for pancakes. Personally, just from the design standpoint, I could see in a small pan these little sides getting in the way, a spatula probably is gonna work better. Also, uh, sometimes a spatula is way better at getting under food items. But I can see gripping certain things, it depends on what you're cooking. But let's test it out on some potato pancakes. I made some potatoes earlier, and I'm gonna to try to <laughs> make some potato pancakes out of them. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, you're not going to see this, but I got some butter, and I'm going to put some butter in a pan, and then mold some pancakes, or some, uh, uh, mold some potatoes into pancake shapes. All right. Let me wash my hand. Hands. Right. Yeah, this is an interesting product. This is one of those products that you didn't know you needed until you saw it. All right, so I'm just gonna make some simple potato pancakes. And I wish I had a thickener of some sort. Maybe I should, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave them like this. I was gonna say add some flour, but uh, I think once they get crispy in the butter, they'll be fine. So there we go. And yeah. Reviewed some good tasting uh, potato earlier. Yeah. Okay, one second. So this is gonna be a real test of these spatulas because it's real delicate. I think I'm gonna test some uh, eggs next, or an egg, because I think that's gonna be a big test. All right, so we got a bunch of butter in here. And so I can see maybe top gripping this. I just don't think, yeah, it's not gonna get under that. So that would be uh, kind of what I suspected that the size is gonna get in the way as opposed to like a regular spatula. So that's not good and that's not a good sign. But yeah, check this out. All right, I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit. And let me see. I'm gonna see. So the picture, in the picture, they always show it underneath. So even on the taco example, the the basket is underneath, which is 
they're like scooping in ground beef underneath vegetables underneath the salmon underneath the meat Let's just for fun put some little seasoning. We got some Texas seasoning here. Just a little bit of extra. Turn it down just a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna flip them. I'm gonna attempt to do some flipping in this little tiny pan. And you can see how the sides of the tongs are kind of getting in the way, but I'm gonna to try to do it anyway. And I'm gonna flip it. So there we go, I got underneath it. And let's try that again. I'm gonna to try to like get the basket going. So I definitely probably recommend a bigger pan. All right, that was a fail. And let me just show you in comparison to a regular spatula. Okay. I mean, these are real delicate, but you can definitely get under it a little bit better with a regular spatula. Uh, this is called the Clever Tongs. It's an as seen on TV product. Basically, it's a spatula that has a little basket that you can grip. So it's like tongs and a spatula. So you can grip it or use it as a spatula. Also, I think cleanup on this thing is going to be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, the tacos. Uh, so yeah, in the picture, they're kind of like shoveling in the ground beef in these tacos using this thing. And then they have the, the pancake example, but check this out. So it's actually a pretty small pan they're using right there. And you can see just in my demo how the, the size of these tongs gets in the way. So that... Look at how crowded that pan is. That's not gonna make things easier. Unless you become like an expert in this thing. I, I just don't see how this is gonna help you. Especially in such a crowded pan. This is not this is not a precision tool based on what I'm seeing. Alright, so check this out. Let me try to do another flip. So you can just see how large it is. I'm just trying to flip this little item. And it uh, gets in the way there. See, can't get, get can't get to them. All right. Um, let me try. Let me try gripping them with these things, using it as a tong. And it's not quite crispy enough to do that. These are real delicate. All right. All right, so let's try to grip them, take them over to the plate. Yeah, it looks complicated. It is. It's. It does seem overly complicated because you definitely can't something delicate like this. You can't just press this into the into the pan and get at them. So, um, right? Yeah, just not good. Not good. Um, I'm gonna try to grip these as a tong. So there you go. I mean, you can use it like as a pincher, which is kind of cool, I guess. Look at that. 
these definitely would have to, I'm doing, taking them out for the sake of the review, but they definitely would need more time. Get them a little bit crispier. Uh, the price range is uh, five, the, I doubt you can find it for five bucks, but five to like $30, according to my, my smart speaker here. I don't want to set off people's, you know what, you know what. All right, so check that out. This is the two-in-one spatula and tongs. Let's give it a taste test. All right, check that out. Just get a little crispy on the outside. You add a little butter. Oh yeah. Potato pancakes, who doesn't like that? Get a little crispiness, a little bit of that butter. And then the potatoes from earlier today. Very good. Woo, hot. So, my thoughts about this. Um, maybe I should do an egg test just to see. But I think it's pretty conclusive that this thing is does not a superior, um, uh, you know, spatula, but I could see it being used as a, like little tongs, you know, to pick stuff up. So this is definitely not going to change your life in the kitchen. So I would say, I would recommend most people don't get it, but there may be a specific person out there that, You know, I was looking for something like this. Yeah, I'm not going to do the egg review because I just know the result. It's not even worth it. Um, this is going to be kind of bulky. It's probably going to crack the yolk. Uh, yeah, veggies, I could see that. You know, something that's in a big pan and you're just grabbing a lot that's not delicate and you can kind of make a basket and then throw it on your plate or you can grab it this way. I mean, it works like this where you just grab it like so. But as far as like, even on the plate, it's a little bit hard to do, but just how big this thing is. So there you have it, folks. Uh, four pack, two in one, spatula and tongs. Flips like a spatula, grips like tongs, the as seen on TV product. I would say pass. There probably is one person out there that could name a use of this that would make things easier. But I think in most cases, just using a regular spatula or just get regular tongs is gonna be better than this thing. I think this thing, does both things pretty poorly and or not poorly but just not as good as the original designs and just get two items instead of one because you're not going to be happy in both cases as tongs or as as as, as a spatula but for that special person out there uh who needs it i would say go for it you know i guess it, it works for what it is and it's pretty you know it's got metal tongs here and it's got like a little basket here so it's you know for what it is i guess it's pretty well built you get a big one and then you get a little one here. So that might've been something to try is use a little one in the smaller pan. Um, but I just think still it's pretty bulky because similar, you can see how it's similar in size right there. So it's still gonna be bulky when you go into any type of smaller pan. So let me know what you think. Did I get it right? Do you agree? Leave in the comment section. It's the ASEAN TV spatula and tongs, clever tongs. Flips like a spatula, grips like tongs, heat resistant. Grip it and flip it or scoop it and serve it. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.